It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Eagles and the Browns next on Madden Football. First opened in 1999. There's a good look at First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Cleveland Browns. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go from Cleveland. Jackson now to return. And he returns this to the 22. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you, balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. On play action, Aikman. Well, this is Montgomery with a grab over the middle. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. First down, here's Aikman. Quick hitter here, it's complete. That catch good for only a couple. Now Aikman. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now Aikman on first down. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And the Browns are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout and injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. one man and this will leave him a yard short nice pick up of nine yards on first down the success there Charles coming on the outside of the field the ground game curious to see if that continues as we progress yeah we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass but in this case with strictly the run game you can be creative there as well run it inside run it outside keep the defense off balance the last run got nine that leaves him with second and a yard and he'll give it here to his running back. And unable to get downhill there, so take this up to about the 37. Only a yard on the pickup, so from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Kaepernick wants to throw on third and one. 
And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got a turnover? <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. from the gun he'll hand this off and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage he'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. that was a terrific play causing a loss as a middle linebacker simple you can either fill holes or you can attack them as he did there So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Throwing now is Kaepernick. Complete to Newsom. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look at And now some disagreement down on that sideline. The red flag is out, and we're going to get a challenge. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Two play off. After review of the play, so the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. On first and ten, here's Kaepernick. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. They'll run for the first time here with Brown. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. second from Cleveland it's the Browns in control of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up working from the gun it's Kaepernick and he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. Uh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now a three-point swing right there. 
So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Jackson now to return. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. They had two tight ends in the formation on that one. It looked to me like he had his pick of receivers downfield. I think he was just planning on going over the middle. That's what he did. Picked up first down, too. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. So a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. On second down, Montgomery. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Yeah. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Now that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. A middle throw. And that is incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. They defer to Brown to start the drive. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, 
you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On third and long, it's Kaepernick. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Jamie Gillen now on to punt. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Eagles will have it, taking over first and 10. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They'll throw on first down with Aikman. He finds his man complete. That's Owens. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. That's something has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play call should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, Nice first down. Drive keeps moving. The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. From the shotgun, Aikman. And this is incomplete. I know we spent a lot of time talking about how the defensive backs read routes and, and make plays on the football. How about a good linebacker feeling the route Seeing the quarterback, jumps the play, and knocks it away. Really well done. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw again here, Aikman. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. Now it's Aikman. Going to drop this off to McCoy, complete. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on now the field goal team for Philadelphia. And his kick here is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because mm -hmm. that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. Field goals, all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. 
And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Another opportunity now for the Browns offense. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Kaepernick going to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. First down, Kaepernick. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Second down and five. From the gun, it's Kaepernick. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Again, it's Kaepernick. Man open here is Crowder. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big play that time through the air. 32 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Looking left side, he's got it complete. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Nearly the entire first half, but a first red zone opportunity for him here. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. Give him four yards there, and that should be the final play of this first half. So we've reached halftime in a low-scoring affair, just a pair of field. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. This take it in at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. 
It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic, no need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. On play action, it's Kaepernick. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. And that is incomplete. So stop here defensively to start this third quarter. Just what's needed in a tie ball game. Yeah, good chance to build back some momentum on the defensive side of the ball. In fact, what they've done is give their offense a nice push in the back as they get ready to take the field. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he will bring this down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. So not only do they get the fumble recovery on the punt, but now look at this field position. He almost took it the distance. And the ability to not just make the play, but turn it into something big, that's what coaches harp on all the time. How do we create big plays that will change the game? And that may have been one that just did. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. To throw, it's Kaepernick. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Uh, partner, when you see a screen pass, and the defensive tackle ends up making the play, you know that one wasn't sold well at all because he should be upfield by the time you throw the pass. If not, you end up with big trouble, as we just saw right there. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. 60 miles, 60 miles, 60 miles. <laughs> on the handoff, this is Brown. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is good. Take the lead here in this battle of field goals at six to three. So a good kick there. They put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the throw. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Either not, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Jackson now to return. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. 
So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two, here's second and eight. A give to Montgomery, out of the gun. And unable to get downhill there, so take this up to about the 37. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe they'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. From the gun on third down is Aikman. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down there coming up. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. So a change of possession here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And Charles, we've seen almost three full quarters now, and neither offense can really get it going. Neither has hit the end zone, and neither side seemingly can make that big play. But the game hasn't been devoid of action because these two defenses, they've taken over and they've slugged it out. But I think you're exactly right. We're at that stage of the game now where one of these offenses, if they make a big play, that could be the difference. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now a give left side, Brown with it. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you gotta just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Now Kaepernick may be a free play. And this one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. Offside, defense. Well, 
we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. So the penalty certainly helps them out as they come up on second and five. 60, Mike, 60, Mike, 60, Mike. Right. Here's Kaepernick. He gets it complete to Jackson. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll try the left side. It's Brown. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Well, Parnell, yeah. I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Second and nine. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Wow, so wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster, and you hope their lockers are not right next to each other <laughs> for the post game. Safe to say one is not buying the other dinner. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. To throw, Kaepernick. Flush to his right. And avoids the contact by Slater. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Kaepernick now on first down. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And he'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get heck of a tight end candidate. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. And the Eagles are right back in this football game. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. 
All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter, turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. And they'll begin by running the option. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Now they always talk about playing great team defense. And that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment. No one in the wrong spot. Everyone filling their gaps. From the 22, here's second and eight. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Aikman setting to throw it. Hurts over the middle. Three yards the gain there, second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second down and seven. Now Aikman. Incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Now Aikman looking to throw. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And boy, he is very close to a first down. But from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. Running for it, Montgomery. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Add that one to the good run tally right there. He's been strong throughout this game, and there's no reason to suggest he's going to slow down in the fourth quarter at all. And that's exactly what they need him to do, keep churning out first downs. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. Back to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. The Eagles hustling to the line, clock rolling. He'll look. 
look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A great effort there. 54 yards. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. Wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late. But now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Extra point right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So now the Browns down by four. Exactly one minute remaining. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. throw Kaepernick and he will find his man on the end route complete and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped tell you what he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long that throw no different yeah a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw I think he looks at it as I can do it so it's not that big of a deal to me and I'm gonna keep firing clock rolling here about to hit 30 seconds to throw is Kaepernick He's going to let it fly. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gutting for on first and goal. Now Kaepernick. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Second and goal from inside the five. 60, 60, 60, 60. Let's pick it up. Kaepernick to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right, they got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. A drive there of just four plays. And it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest.
joins the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Jackson now to return. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. Let's see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. shot they'll look to throw and they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down well going into the final play of this game they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end but they couldn't get it done however we were treated to really a spectacular affair even though they didn't finish it off you're exactly right they took us down to the last play we're still you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.